Welcome everybody to another show. My name is Christopher Medina. I am your hearing care professional here at Virtue Hearing Aid Center. And today I have a special guest. Her name is Sandy De La Cruz. Uh, she's an audiologist and trainer at GN Resound. And today we are going to review the Enzo Q. All right, welcome everybody to another show. Again, we're gonna be reviewing the Enzo Q. Uh, so Sandy, so who would be a perfect candidate for the Enzo Q BTE 98? So our Enzo Q is actually made for a, our severe to profound hearing loss. It's our power line, as we said. The power line, right? Yeah. Okay. And this comes in three technologies. Yeah. So depending on your lifestyle needs, whether you know if you're mostly at home or you uh, go to a lot of meetings or noisy situations, uh, of course your hearing care professional will help you choose what's the best technology for you. Um, anything else you want to add on the technology levels there, Sandy? Yes. Yeah, so I mean the technology excel, itself our enzo line will have about 116 dynamic range which will give your patients just distortion free clear and sound quality it also has still has a 9.5 um, kilohertz so it will provide that full bandwidth experience when they're listening to music or streaming okay great great and um, so this has a uh, clear sound and distortion free because of the high input dynamic range. Mm -hmm. um, so what can you tell us a little bit about that? Yeah, so that is part of our chip because our new chip has that, that just provides that clear sound quality for your patients. But not only that, I want to, uh, if you can pick yeah. it up a little bit, that mm -hmm. hook itself. There's so we just it's not just there it's not a regular plastic hook actually it's it's a mixture of hard and soft to provide just just that greater uh, fidelity for your patients add more 5 db lesser vibration so that's less distortion for your patients so okay. we really thought about that super power user great great and also you said uh, i think you told me earlier it's good for um, musicians and people who love music because it's just going to sound much more crispier right yes again that 9.5 usually again for super power they would cut off at 7.5 but we would go up all the way up to 9.5 okay cool so let's get into a little bit about the the tech specs the technology uh a little bit about the user controls so we have um basically a volume control down at the bottom up or down and this program switch up here can be used for different programs maybe muting the hearing aids mm -hmm. anything else changing programs yes as you said activation of streaming yep, a bunch of stuff yeah okay and these also have bluetooth connectivity direct to iphone and android users with iphone uh, you need a 5s or newer mm -hmm. And for Android users, you would need an Android 10 or newer to connect direct. <clears throat> now, if you have an older phone, uh, we're going to talk later about some of the accessories that you can connect to this so that it can make it compatible. Right, Sandy? Yep. Uh, another thing, uh, this is a, it's a battery operated hearing aid. It uses a 675 battery, which is, I think, the biggest hearing aid battery you can use on a hearing aid, right? Yeah. So... Uh, if you use this on average about 15 hours a day, it's estimated you get almost probably two weeks of usage mm -hmm. with um, each battery. So that's that's great. You know, that better than most hearing aids, I would say. That's, that's pretty good. Um, anything else you want to add to that? Yeah, so for that part? just to add on to the last uh, part of what you said. Yeah. And this is part of the efficiency of the new chip. Um, so we have lesser consumption because of the brand new chip that we have on the Enzo Q. Okay, perfect, perfect. All right, third, last but not least, we have some options and accessories. So these hearing aids um, 
have a ton of colors to choose from. I mean, I've never seen this many. This is this is probably <laughs> seven, 13 colors. We got sterling gray. Uh, I can't even pronounce that one. And anthra anthracite anthracite <laughs> we got black beige light blonde medium blonde dark brown pearl uh silver gloss black forest camel for the hunters i'm a hunter <laughs> i don't know if you guys knew that i like to go hunting uh desert camo and ocean camo there you go so i man i think that's perfect for me i don't go hunting the rabbits won't see my hearing aids exactly <laughs> um i'm just joking but yeah, there's a lot of different colors let's see and these have a bunch of different accessories that you can use with these so we have one present uh which was what's this one called again sandy multi mic so this is the multi mic so this can be used as a remote mic for example you're going to a place where there's going to be a speaker present you can give this mic to the person they can clip it anywhere on a shirt or the tie and the this mic will stream directly to both hearing aids at the same time um this also has a telecoil feature right yes <clears throat> so if you go to a venue or anywhere that has uh, the telecoil symbol hopefully we'll stick a picture up there of what it looks like right um if you have this and it's connected to your hearing aids once you walk into that venue uh, the telecoil will activate and it'll stream whatever music or audio is coming from the venue directly to your hearing aids. Mm -hmm. uh, what's the music symbol here for, Sandy? Oh, that 3.5 mm jack at the bottom. Oh, yes. Yeah. So yeah. it has the, the, they call it an AUX, right? The aux or? I just call it 3.5 mm. 3.5 jack. So if you have like an older MP3, uh, anything, what else? iPods. iPods, yeah. Uh, it's very rare you might use it, but it's available so you can use it to Your, connect. Um, computers. Computers. Our laptops has 3.5 mm jacks, right? Yeah, yeah. So if you have that cable, you can hook one side of here, one side to the computer and stream the audio directly to your hearing aids. Uh, and that last symbol there. That would be for FM systems. So if you have like schools, we'll have that FM system for kids. Okay, so FM systems. Yeah, so um, like Sandy said for, you know, if your child goes to school and they offer the FM system, they can connect to this and stream um, the audio to the hearing aids, right? Yeah. And also, um, if you're at a dinner table too, it has a third mic on top that you can place in the middle of wherever you're at and you'll be able to hear whether if you're in a meeting or dinner, you'll be able to hear everybody much more clear, right? Yeah. And so I, th I think what I didn't mm. mention also is that just the range of this, it's about 80 feet. 80 feet, wow. Yeah, so don't listen in to people, okay? <laughs> no. and leave your mic it could be a spy, <laughs> no, we're just kidding, don't spy on people. <laughs> Buy at your own risk. Um, <laughs> so other accessories that uh, we, we're going to put a picture of is we got the remotes. We got two remotes. We got a basic remote, an advanced remote mm -hmm. that has an LCD screen. Mm -hmm. So if you don't have a smartphone to control the aids, that's an option you can use. Uh, we have the TV streamer. Mm -hmm. So if you want to stream the TV to your hearing aids, let's say, for example, you don't want to bother, bother somebody in the room and you want to watch TV, you can mute the TV and just have the audio stream to your hearing aids, right? Yeah, and so with regards to the TV streamer, mm -hmm. it's actually, it supports Dolby stereo surround sound. So oh, the wow. sound quality will be amazing. Okay, wow. So mm -hmm. would the hearing aids have like a surround sound type? Experience, Experience? yeah. So yeah. try to watch uh, Star Wars with oh. it. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> that's good, that's good. <clears throat> And um, the last one here is the phone clip. So if you have an older phone, older, let's say if you have an iPhone 4 or an Android 8 and you still wanna have Bluetooth connectivity, you basically just have that phone clip accessory so that you can stream your older phones, even if you have a flip phone, right? Correct. As long as it has Bluetooth, we can connect it to that clip and it'll stream directly to the hearing aids. And it can stream to, it can actually connect to two devices, that phone clip. So if you have two phones, that will be perfect. Or let's say you wanna connect one to your phone and one to the car. Yeah, if you want to, yeah. If the that car might be possible. Phone. You need the Bluetooth, right? Yeah. Oh, we forgot about the micro mic, which is the baby of that. 
Yep. Mic that right there. So okay, so there's a smaller mic, and what are the features on those? It's mostly just a microphone in it, but it's a smaller version of that one. So if you want more discreet, you don't want to, you know, you don't want to use this a bigger multi mic. You can opt for the micro mic. So it's more of a remote mic system versus having all those four functions. All the features, huh? But that's, I mean, even that small and it's light, right? You. It's light. You can have it in your pocket. Clip it to your shirt. No big deal. So that one's, I definitely go with that one. Um, cool. So anything else you want to add about the options and accessories? No, I think you cover it all, Chris. Awesome. Awesome. So again, this is the uh, Enzo Q BTE. Of course, um, this is going to have to be fitted with an ear mold. So like we said, it's probably for a patient who has a severe to profound hearing loss. Does this have a slim tube option? Not for our Enzo. Okay. So we'll have to put an ear mold. All right. Well, I think we, we covered um, the lifestyle needs, who can wear this, the Bluetooth and other technologies, uh, the options and accessories. So if you guys have any comments or questions, post down below. Me or my team will answer your questions. If not, I'll reach out to Sandy to get me the information to give to you guys. Again, thank you so much and we'll catch you on the next video. Take care. Thank you.